But you have only one tackle at a certain point, so hopefully this will. Uh, you, uh, when I watched uh, Bruno played by Yellow Flash before, I was so amazed, and hopefully we get to be amazed once again. Yeah, although uh, Wolf for uh, this year in speak, I'm uh, feeling for your uh, Philippines. It will be difficult for them to burst this uh, this one out. Uh, they need uh, the abyssal arrow plus uh, finishing uh, play here for uh, Carl TC. So it is going to be a battle of the side lanes here now for the both teams. We've mentioned that earlier, having a yellow flash on this uh, Bruno pick. Actually, um, well, we saw him. Um, we saw the other players or Royal Milk standing out. Are standing strong with this Bruno pick together with Yellow Flash. So I guess for Philippines, they should focus more on negating uh, the side lanes, or else uh, that will be a problem for them. But again, Flap TZ on this some um, Thomas. I guess for Flap TZ, what's good uh, with having this kind of lineup or uh, this kind of hero for him is that uh, they're just good for the offensive play. But then again, a DK almost low life. He is still alive against the Philippines. The bigger part of having the Selena is you always have that very speedy take of the jungle. And in fact, with all of the waves that they have cleared, Philippines are looking to invade the orange buff. Lusty with a jump. No, still. That is a steal, I mean, from Philippines. As uh, so Flap TZ Ooh. and Carl TZ and Few are here. Lusty gonna be chased down. Damage from Lu Yi is not gonna cut it. The arrow misses coming out from Few, but it's already mission accomplished for Philippines. And now. The, the masters of EXP, Chantel, Team Philippines, they're economically, their gold lead is just 200. But when it comes to the EXP, it's already at 1,000. More than 1,000 uh, EXP lead, which if you look at their levels now, that PC is going to get level 4. That's uh, level 4 as well for Carl TZ, lastly almost 4. And the rest of the gang almost at 4. While Team Myanmar, they still have players who, at le who are at level 2. That's actually yeah. really bad for Myanmar at this point. Yeah, actually, if you have a team, uh, you, if you have a team uh, that is on the edge in terms of experience, uh, you're just saying to the enemy team that they're ready for the team fight. Know that Philippines is really for the AOE together with with this uh, damage that uh, could be uh, brought by uh, Cortezi on this uh, Lancelot. For Myanmar, though, we could see actually uh, that they have a slow facing in terms of uh, their minion waves. They're just preparing Yellow Flash for the latter part of the game. But yeah, Royal Milk is down. He has killed here by Team Philippines actually so that is a bit of a problem for him and more for Philippines though we have you for the Selena he's just ready to give the information for the team and this time around they will try to actually get this buff of Myanmar because we have Royal Milk getting ready for that vacation buff has been secured here or has, has been stolen by Philippines and you know you will wonder how Philippines is Still leading by so much when it comes to XP, but not when it comes to gold. Because they sacrifice the fact that their presence in the map is not that good. But the fact that they are taking away so much from Myanmar makes it so that it is still a very good trade. Like The gold is not that different. But when it comes to the XP, they're leading by a lot. They have all of their ultimates available. They will try to fight DK. There's the Fatal Licks on to two. Real Milk, maximum charge. Now in forward. That's going to be Atlas down first. Carl TZ in trouble. Going to be chased down. But with the help of his teammates, he's not going to be able to survive them again. Ah! Captain Sam going to be caught. There's the exchange kill. Yellow Flash finds the opening. Look at that. And gets the purple buff as well. No, he wasn't able to do so because Rebo was there just in time to get it. Yeah, but then again, for uh, Team Myanmar, the credit is just there for Yellow Flash. We can, we can actually see him secure a kill for Team Myanmar. FQ is also down with a missile from Royal Milk. I guess for Philippines, they should be mindful in terms of team fight. But then again, Lusty goes in for the dive. It's going to be a double kill here for this Jawhead. He will low on life. And Schecter plays a triple kill for Royal Milk. So. Uh, for Philippines, yes, they are the upper hand earlier, but for Myanmar, in terms of deep fight, they're just there. We can see Flap TZ and Car TZ turning the tables around the damage, the fatal legs for DK hit, and then he goes for the out. But then Flap TZ says him double kill for this attempt, and Car TZ low on life, but he's gonna back away. He was able to escape that series of events. Again, Myanmar, we're now tied at 6 6. 6-6 six, six at this point, Myanmar have recovered. So this is such a big recovery from their side. And I did say that this is going to be an amazing Bruno play. I think Yellow Flash, Flash his attention to detail is just so good. His attention to the game is just so uh, 
excellent at this point that even I want to say that even when he is uh, not that far compared to the, the opposing course, he's still able to find the good angles. And he knows exactly how much range he's had with this Bruno. And you can see him even attacking through the walls, knowing how much range he has against his opponents. And he's able to land those crucial shots. He's now up at 1-0 and 2 with uh, 2.8k. A little bit near the Lancelot, but Carl is just so well farmed at this point. Yeah, but uh, you, you've uh, mentioned the Yellow Flash and that is uh, really commendable how he, he places himself in the map charity fight. It's uh, difficult for um, Myanmar, I mean for Philippines to actually counter him because he's just on uh, maybe I guess the boundary of his range and then uh, the, their heroes for uh, Philippines here. But then again for Team Myanmar, all they need to do is actually take down a single turret against Philippines right there and there. Philippines uh, will be on a complex situation and they have the Selena which is low for the aggressiveness. But they, if they lose a single turret actually, it will be difficult here for Philippines on this game. We have Flaptizi on the aggressiveness but we have Yellow Flash on the kind of range and damage that he is breaking for Team Myanmar. Here comes another turtle, Lusty, on that uh, initiation, actually. DK is down, guys. The damage is just there because of the wave of the world. Sam, Sam, Sam dives in. Low players or low life players here for Philippines. They're just gonna back away. Royal Milk with that flicker. Flat is low on life, though. They're still alive. Lusty comes in for the dive in just to counter out, uh, just to stop Royal Milk, and that's the end of the team fight. What a good way for Myanmar to zone out the players of Team Philippines. Cartesi is actually gonna steal that turtle. I'm not really sure though if that was a good trade if he is killed by Benmar. It is not a good trade at all. You wanna, uh, as a Lancelot, you always wanna be there in uh, uh, cities. You always wanna be up and alive almost all the time. You want to minimize your deaths because your deaths by uh, having 30 seconds means that you're losing about a thousand or so gold right because you always want to farm and farm and farm that's the thing with last you always have to pose that threat against your opponents and that trade-off for Cartesi is so crippling i think you know what the deaths on lancelot or ling or those kinds of heroes you can even say they count as two deaths right if there's two deaths on Cartesi, you always think oh he's already uh, he has already died four times. That's how you treat and put value on deaths on valuable heroes like this. Because Lancelot, he needs to be up almost all the time. Uh, and if you compare that to the Bruno, the Bruno can die so much, but if he's farming, it's okay. There's a, there's a, I have to say this, there's a ceiling, ceiling for the Lancelot that if you don't farm so much in the late game, you're not gonna matter that much. Yeah, you're not gonna matter uh, totally if the uh, majority of your team Myanmar already has the immortality. You just go in for the damage, but there is no finisher actually for Team Philippines. So this early game is uh, really crucial for them. Although we can see him with that blade of heptasis, they just need to actually get the turrets against Team Myanmar. For Myanmar though, what's good about this team is actually they have the Johe. That could single target this um, last that we've, uh, we've seen that earlier. Cartesi was isolated by that uh, Johe. Then again, on the bottom lane, we have Flap TC together with you. They're gonna kill with a mega kill actually for this um, Flap So it's gonna be a battle. DK comes in for the team fight. Lusty is there for the backup though. It's gonna be two versus two. The battle of the side lanes. Flap TC low on life. We have Samson Sam taking down this Thames of Philippines. Oh wow, that was a very surprising kill actually going out from, uh, well, I mean. Surprising turn of events for Myanmar for me because they kind of slipped up and Philippines knowing that they have That they already saw their opponents like making a mistake They just punished them heavily and now the lead is on the side of Philippines a little bit The turtle is more than important for Carl TC to have at this point Because aside from the bonus damage you have you also have that shield For the turtle for about two minutes, which means that he's a little bit tankier now when the team fight that's gonna happen. So for Team Myanmar, I think that they have to minimize those errors if they want to transition into the late game with good farm on Yellow Flash, on Royal Make, as well as Sham Sham Sham. They need to minimize their mistakes, but another mistake happened in there as the Joy is gonna be caught by Philippines red-handed.
Yeah, that is, uh, I guess, a miscommunication for Team Myanmar. They wanted this Shawhead to give information, actually show where the players of uh, Team Philippines are. But technically, he was actually killed by the Philippines. Here, we can see on our screens, we have a 6.9k gold, almost 7k for Cartesi on his Lancelot. That is an edge for the, him, though. Um, and uh, what's good about Team Philippines is uh, they're actually taking down turns or actually damaging the turrets of a uh, team in Mar, which isolates this bruno to get all the gold that he needs if uh, they're really transitioning for the late game we have uh, we we can see here players of team philippines actually zoning out this box inside while the thamus is just a take objective we have flap tz known to be the bachelor player of team philippines taking down a second tier turret against myanmar onto the top that's like i said flap tz and this is how he plays when when he's playing the thumbs you can see him is split pushing so much but when he plays something like uh like the esmeralda before he fights for the team but this is equally good for Lord, philippines as they are already uh but fart here around the first tier turret of myanmar want to go against yellow flash lusty charging the jump will he commit it yes he can but he does oh. reach yellow flash in time for the damage from lancelot it's gonna be enough for Philippines. Double kill coming up from the Thames as he bites Yellow Flash in the neck with his molten sights. Philippines have taken three. Might be just take it, taken him uh, a tier one turret in the bottom lane or transfer to the Lord where that's a better yeah. exchange for them. Royal Milk is gonna be taken out for sure. Let's kill in spree for Flap TZ. This guy with the Thames already up by so oh, much. Oh, really good. Yeah, bravado for uh, Team Philippines actually taking down Yellow Flash. We've uh, been talking about Yellow Flash earlier that it's uh, difficult for Philippines to dive in for him or actually take them. But again, he kills them. I mean, he kills him. Uh, they kill him, and they take down this Lord. Objective other uh, after another objective uh, for uh, Team Philippines on this game. We have 34 take. 34k gold against the 30k gold of a team Myanmar. For the uh, Philippines, what's good about this team is they know which lane they should go uh, for them to be able to focus on the other lanes of uh, team Myanmar. For Myanmar, they should uh, be mindful or actually they need Hiccup to activate his uh, prowess in terms of damage or even uh, the crowd control against Philippines. So far, we haven't seen those uh, outstanding plays coming from the Louie, but then again, uh, he is done with that unstoppable force coming in from Royal Milk. Although the Lord is on the top lane side, we see the aggressiveness of TPPs here on the bottom lane. They're just going for the turrets. They're just taking out turrets against Team Myanmar. This is Philippines uh, doing what they're doing in the previous game. They're controlling the map. They're not letting Myanmar farm. The Yellow Flash is... Um, he had a good time, but it's not as good as what the, the Lancelot is having at this point. Still have to be careful though if you're Philippines. This is still a Bruno that bites so much. If you get caught up, you're going to be taken out. Then again, Philippines, they have so much engaged potential. Like for example, they can start with Lusty. Even if Lusty dies, it's okay. If he starts and catches Yellow Flash, prompts the Purify first. There's a follow-up stun from uh, from you on the Selena. And then you also have the x -Borg. You'll have many ways to sacrifice yourself and put the bodies in front of mm -hmm. Myanmar. So that Cartesi as well as Flaptizi will be able to uh, to kill them in the end, to finish off the kill. So if there's going to be an, uh, a high ground battle now, or sorry, it's not a high ground. It's a, it's a base defense from Myanmar. Mm -hmm. I think Philippines can still win it, but they will have to sacrifice some deaths. If I'm wrong, they will take this cleanly. But if I'm right, I think I'm going to see Philippines drop some bo bodies, but it's okay because they'll still eliminate Myanmar if they execute properly. Yeah, speaking of which, I guess for uh, Team Philippines to take down actually uh, the crucial heroes or uh, the most important players of Team Myanmar, they need uh, Lusty or the Skufra to dive in just uh, to be the sacrificial lamb in terms of team fight. For uh, Myanmar though, they have the Atlas that actually does uh, the counter-initiation. I'm just feeling that uh, Royal Milk 
should be mindful of his positioning in terms of the map because we could see him actually being taken down by Team Philippines on uh, on a very crucial part of the game so we don't want to see that if the Team MMR wants uh, to turn uh, the tables around against Team Philippines because the more he dies the more that is going to be uh, difficult for them to counter out this Lancelot because he is the only counter for uh, this uh, Lancelot to be taken down for Myanmar and so it's it's not impossible for Myanmar to win this uh, I'm telling you that but I'm not saying mm -hmm. that it Okay, so for the Philippines uh, it's gonna be uh, this immortality for the Lancelot Whichever, he, if he goes in for the dive, it's going to be a good thing for them. But then again, here comes the last insanity for Rebo. He kills Yellow Flash. So there is no damage for Team Philippi, uh, for Team Tenmar. On this game, Hiccup with that vacuum, the damage is just there. But then again, for Myanmar, the DPS is just lacking. Hiccup is down as well. We have 1070 oh, for the score. All the players of Philippines are still alive for this game number two. Rebo pops the immortality. Some Sam Sam is just there defending their base or inhibitor turrets but the lord is now up onto this game we have dk for the immortality though lusty comes in for the dive dk for the counter initiation that they're not gonna go he doesn't have the much um the uh, damagers here for Myanmar. While this is happening, though, we could see that Sam's actually taking down or taking this Lord against Myanmar. Sam, 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 being the Uranus that is known to be uh, the hero uh, that is known for the sustain. And uh, two tank players, all the players of Myanmar now alive onto this game. It's going to be 10 17 for the score. Carl TZ low on life, but he is able to escape that one. Flap TZ on the Sea Halberd. We have Royal Milk taking down few, but then again, we have the Lord on the side of Team Philippines. That is already an edge for them. I guess if this uh, Lord marches down in the middle lane, that is the time where few is alive for Team Philippines. Royal Milk in a disposition on the series of events he is done against team philippines we have lusty getting ready for the initiation although the lancelot is far far away with the sword onto the side of team philippines lusty on the sidelines getting ready for the initiation guys we're just waiting for the damagers but team and more having this bruno for this lineup but they will successfully take this lord down against team philippines we have 10k gold uh, I guess for uh, this Bruno, it's gonna be uh, this um, immortality to complete his item, so it will be difficult for the last lot to burst in down in terms of key fight. 18 11 is the score, guys. We have 13k, we have the Quinn swings here for um the lancelot we saw him earlier building that immortality um it's a matter of time for um, Myanmar to turn things around but here comes the diving guys Carl TZ is almost low on life then again it's gonna be three versus four a missile arrow catches this Luo Yi Lusty is almost down he pops that immortality but we have Flap TZ stepping up on that team fight while Rebo goes in for that last insanity Sam 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 is still alive this team Philippines, they're just aggressive. They're taking this inhibitor turrets against C Myanmar. DK and Sam 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 again defending their base while Team Philippines is complete for this series of events. They might or they can win this game. They just need to be focused on the objectives. Speaking of objectives, they will take down um a DK, which is the Atlas we have. 10 minutes, I mean, uh, 10 seconds before the Royal Milk and Hiccup goes alive to the Fender base. We have Carl TC going in for the turret push. It's going to be a GG push for the Philippines. It's going to be 2-0 for the series against Myanmar.